how me? How are you all doing today? Uh, welcome back to my channel once again. Today, as you can see, we are going to be looking at possessive pronouns part two, uh, specifically looking at your and yours. As a review, here is a brief pronoun inventory of what we have looked at so far. Last week, looked at the first person singular, which refers to oneself. So I, okay, I is first person singular. The possessive is my and mine. That's what we looked at last week. So just as again a review, the the normal pronoun I is n n. Uh, the possessive pronouns my is there's three of them that we looked at e n ra and C, which we saw last week was actually probably just a combination of su along with e. And mine is nerate. Nerate. Today we're going to be looking at the second person singular. Second person singular is you, uh, which you in Paiute is u, u. But we're going to be looking at the possessive pronouns. First, your. We have u and umi, and yours is you have two options ugat and umit. Okay, so first let's look at your. Now you may be thinking to yourself, uh, doesn't that already mean you? Uh, you. Well, first off, yes, it does mean you, technically. So in northern Paiyu, when you put one noun in front of another noun, that first noun becomes possessive. So if you put u uh, in front of another noun, that you turns into your, okay? But the second one, umi, is just simply your. So let's look at one brief example by itself, or just what, what I just said. You put one noun, u, uh, or a pronoun, in front of another noun, guanga. So that becomes your younger brother, okay? Your younger brother. Now, some of you may be thinking, doesn't younger brother, isn't it wang a? Well, yes, technically, uh, younger brother in northern Peru is wang a. But this word, u, what it does to certain sounds that follow it is it hardens it. <laughs> it duplicates it, or technically the term is fortition. It causes fortition. In other words, that w, w sound that starts wang a, it's hardened, it becomes guang a, so u guang a, your younger brother. That whole topic of fortition is a whole new lesson in itself, so let's just move on to some sentence examples. First, u sung ap sira kwan means your breath smells bad, so u your sung ap breath. Your breath smells bad. <laughs> if your breath smells bad, well, brush your teeth. Your teeth brush. How about this one? Blow your nose, or literally, is your snot. So, your mubigi, your nose, seed. Blow it. Uh, you might have a little bit left over around your nose, so umubi matsua. Wipe your nose. Umubi matsua. Wipe your nose. And now it might be a good idea to umai mavatsaka. Umai, your hands, mavatsaka. Wash. And a nice sentence to learn. And to listen to and heed is your friends treat them well. All right, umi umi is the other word that just means your. Haga umi Who are your parents? Haga who umi Your parents. Very simple. This is something you can perhaps teach your children uh, when you're asking them to learn the body parts. Hano umipiwu. Hano umipiwu. How is or where is your heart? 
Your teachings are good, or your teaching is good. Your mom is younger than me. Now let's look at yours, okay? Yours. First we have ugat, ugat, and if you watched my last week's video, you may think that this looks similar, or you may you may recognize that this looks similar to mine. Mine was ugat, ugat. We saw that this word is broken up into three parts. First, n, which is the first person singular pronoun I. Ga is a genitive. Genitive also is a fancy word that just um, indicates possession. And then the final, tu, t, also indicates <laughs> that it's a possessive suffix. So this kind of has that emph emphatic sense of yours. Okay? So ugate, or ugate does, is similar, broken up into three parts. U, which is you, la, the genitive and t the possessive and it means yours. Umite has that same final suffix tu again indicating that is possessive yours. Let's look at a couple examples. Nugatia ah mine is here. Ugat o o yours is over there. So there is that more of a distinction that kind of emphatic. This is mine. Mine is here. Yours is over there. And <laughs> the moldy ones are yours. Not very nice, but hey, sometimes that's what you gotta do. That is all. Very brief introduction to the second person singular possessive pronouns you or your and yours. As always, continue digging further in. This is just an introduction, so dig further into these pronouns and begin to put them into you. So until next time, have a good day and see you later.